Hey everyone, Ben here. I'm going to show you how I make one of my most favourite different things that I produce, and that's these pure beeswax candles. I absolutely love these, and this is the natural shape uh, of a pine cone, and really, really cool. And the best thing about beeswax is it's a natural, pure product, and it smells absolutely amazing. Completely different when you compare it to a lot of other waxes, which may have fragrances and scents in them, but you know, a lot of these soy-based waxes and candles have you know, petroleum in them, and that's um, paraffin wax, and that's basically burning pollution in your environment. So a couple of things we need. We need some 100% pure cotton wicks. We need a mold. Now these molds are very expensive. That's the reason is because they've got to be silicon because the wax has to cool down slowly. Um, and then we rub a band, and I'm going to make one and show you. Now, you can melt the beeswax, melting the beeswax just like you do over a double boiler, like you're melting chocolate. So a uh, bowl over a boiling water, and that, max will, that wax will melt at approximately 64 degrees Celsius, and then it's in a liquid form. So I'm going to show you here. I'm going to make one of my favorite uh, candles. This is the pine cone one. Now, interesting with um, beeswax takes the bees um, about for every t roughly for every 10 kilos of honey that they produce they produce about one kilo of beeswax and that's why it's such a pure natural product they have these little glands underneath their abdomen and what they do is they will excrete it out chew it up and then uh, mold it into that hexagonal type shape so as you can see I've just shredded that wick in through there and um, there we go so that's super super easy they just take a while to actually make because they need to cool down slowly so what I'm doing here, I put these rubber bands to get them into place. Right, and then what we do, a little trick, I use a piece of cardboard and we use this. And then I'll just pop that in there and then I use that, that there to actually uh, hold that in place. Now as I said, we've melted the beeswax and it's in a liquid form. It's, you can't burn yourself because it's not crazy, crazy hot. And what we do is we slowly fill that up all the way to the top. Now, I don't add anything in as far as my beeswax. I don't add any paraffin wax or anything, no scents or smells. It is just pure as nature intended. And then I'll just pop it, uh, that wick, I want to keep that central, uh, and then I pop it there. Now, pretty much straightforward there. This will take a few hours to set, and then we uh, unmold it. And here's one I've just produced a little bit earlier. And when, I'm just going to be super careful moving these. Uh, so we're going to spill that, that wax. And what, what we do is we can unmold it. And uh, as I said, it takes a few hours to actually set. Because if you do it too quick, it's too soft. Particularly this uh, candle, it's actually kind of, um, it's kind of um, fragile. Um, and then what we do is um, we just unmold it like that. And then it's just going to go nice and slow. And this little piece of uh, cardboard, that's okay. We can break that off because what we're going to do I'll show you what I do to actually create, uh, and that can go back into the melting pot. What we do um, is, and then you pull that there. Just take a little, you gotta be careful with these these ones here um, because we don't wanna break those little those little, the little pine cones there. So, uh, and there we go, unmolded candle, just like that. Now with the base, what I do is I just trim that little excess wax off. Now when we put that there, it's actually pretty flat. But a little trick is to get, I get an iron and then we just rub that over there um, to create that, because it's very important that that there, uh, this just heated up that iron, that that sits nice and flat because you wouldn't want a candle knocking because, you know, with any candle for that matter, if the candle knocks, um, obviously we can have a, a fire issue. And that's very important that whenever you're burning these candles, that you, um, when you're burning them, that you obviously monitor them. Very super, super important. And there we go, these are a couple of my favorite ones. These are very popular, because these burn for like a couple of days. These ones here, really slow. It does vary as far as the, the burning time, because it depends on the size of the wicks. There's different wicks, obviously. A smaller wick, you get a smaller flame. Sometimes you can have what's called tunneling, where the wicks, where the wick won't burn even. I don't know, people we sort of, get a bit fussy and everything needs to be perfect but i love that natural way of the how the beeswax candles burn and it's just really really cool way so there we go there's how i make my beeswax candles super easy a little bit time consuming a little bit fiddly but i tell you what if you can only smell it in here they smell absolutely divine pure 
beeswax candles. <laughs>